This is the last hacker replay of the season, and it's going to showcase, I believe, what should be a really old sheet that we haven't seen for a long time. Okay, loaded up the wrong match, now we got the right one on the 17th. Again, this should be a cheat that we haven't seen in, I think, years, or at least two years. It might be back. In this match, we have Danielle.x, who's accusing Zeta TMYT. So, we obviously know of this cheat. This is actually just a uh, free cam. Hopefully my video doesn't get copyright striking again. Well, she's got the sliding thing. This is not what I'm I'm looking for. But it. Oh, she doesn't even use ammo? She's still at full ammo. The fuck? <laughs> she's just like repelling floating inside so what's interesting is she can shoot without using her magazine ammo it uses her reserve ammo because she insta reloads every time that was not quite what the file said would happen uh, i'll watch a few more rounds and see if anything changes it's still just sliding around just shot three times from the boss g Pro is hovering inside the building. Oh. We, we've seen those repel cheats before, but it has been a while. Oh. You can just shoot through the wall. Okay. So this is probably like the cream of the crop when it comes to cheats. This is like, this is someone who is very likely paying upwards of $100 a month for their cheats. Like this person is paying more for their cheats than the average person pays for their internet bill. He can punch the door while his full shield's up. What? Hold on, what is happening? Bro, he can run people over as Monty! He can just straight up run them over! That's a new one. We've seen people melee before with shields from super far away, but I've never seen when someone literally just run someone over, Monty. Okay, so the the file, I thought it was going to be a flying hack. They said there's a Cali fly hack. So I thought Cali was going to literally just fly in the sky and just shoot down. But honestly, that Monty one is, is just as good. Yeah, this person is probably paying for like... It's either probably private cheats, which can sometimes be up to like $300 a month, or they're just paying for whatever cheats they can find, which is like $100 a month. This is not like Lil Timmy downloading free cheats from the forums. Oh, I actually heard about this cheat as well. There was a file from last week that was submitted with the same thing. So, here, let me rewind a bit to show you. The cheater is able to down his own team and then deactivate his own reverse friendly fire. So you can see Zeta has reverse friendly fire. Oh wait, no, they deactivated it there. I actually picked them up. Okay, wait, maybe not. Maybe... Oh, oh! They glitched them out. Okay, that's what they did. So they didn't deactivate it, but they made it where Solus 
can't do anything. She's stuck in the down but not out position. Uh, so is Thorn. And you just literally can't do anything. How does he miss that? This one we've seen before as well, but I thought they had removed it. So he literally just froze them all in place so they can't do anything. And then he can just run around killing the enemy team. This is... this is everything. Oh. Cav? Good. He can just shoot through that. I mean, it makes sense he shot through hard walls before. What? Hold on. Cav can knife the Osa shield from over here. He like knifed the air and it destroyed the Osa shield there. I didn't... <sighs> I'm learning about a lot of different cheats. I think they're just gonna wait at the time. It's so crazy. I don't know how she can knife across the map. That is every cheat known to man. Some cheats I haven't even seen in a while or seen before. The Monty running people over was 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 a little crazy. I want to I want to take a guess that this person's probably not banned. I don't think Ubisoft cares that much, but we can try to find the match and see. Oh no, they did get banned. They got banned the day after that match took place. They made it to Emerald with a 25.63 KD before getting banned. 25 KD. Oh god. Don't tell me if I look up. Okay, that one doesn't exist. Bro. They have like 80 plus accounts. That is insane. That is just like... He's been cheating on like 80 plus accounts since June. Does this guy have no... I mean, he doesn't have a life, obviously. That is insane. How did he get banned three times for cheating? Shouldn't it just be once? Well, the state of siege in 2023. How much money does he have? So the issue is that a lot of cheaters like him pay for accounts that are just stolen, and those accounts cost like maybe a dollar each. There's a million accounts that you can buy that are just super cheap. And people just don't care about them. Well, I can try to submit that and be like, hey, this guy has like 100 accounts. Can you just ban them all? Because they're obviously cheating. We'll see. For match number two, we have Border? No. Chalet. I don't think this is going to be as crazy of a match as the last one. Um, but in this match, we have Raven Ares, who is accusing Double Ds. They seem lost. This is a nine round chalet match. Person seems lost so far. <laughs> like, they just made a rotate hole for the first time. Okay. Guys, I feel like this might be the case of a new player who's cheating. Because they're like fascinated by the destruction, but then they just straight up watch someone through a wall. I mean, I think it's 
it's obvious that they're cheating, but I would just watch a bit more to make sure that they consistently do that, and it wasn't just like, uh, oh, I'm bad and I'm aiming somewhere at the window and hoping to get line them up. I don't know what he was aiming at there. Just tried to shoot him through the wall. I think, right? Or is it just the explosion that scared him? No, he tried to shoot him through the wall. This goes to nine rounds. Because obviously, like, this guy's not that good. He looks terrified. His crosshair placement's horrible. And it doesn't seem like he knows the map layout. Oh, he's gonna floor bang, right? Bro, just doesn't know what to do. Is this why he lost? He doesn't know the map or like how to approach or what to do. He lost, dude. You were just you walled and you lost that. How does this go to overtime? <laughs> so what's funny is what he's doing. So like he's trying to line them up through the wall, and then like goes from crouching to standing to pre-fire them, but he doesn't adjust his aim. So he aims at their head, and he thinks if he stands, the aim's still gonna be on their head. He's also, he has more kills. He has double the kills of the rest of his team combined. He has 13 kills, his team has seven kills. He's trying to do here. I hope that he loses this gunfight. Bro, he's just pinging him through the floor. Now the, the rest of his team is pinging, but he was pinging for a bit. Can you imagine if he walked into a frost mat here? He's so bad at hiding it. At least put in some effort. I assume, like, he must... The cheater must win. Like, there's no way, uh, like, in overtime that the blue team wins. He's being pretty blatant about it. He almost lost that. Let's go to the last round. I just want to see who wins. This is somebody else playing now. Still has walls though. Mm, no, the same person. Attacking is way easier to use walls because you just walk around and then you can just be like, "Oh, someone's here," and shoot them. Defense is harder to use walls because you don't know exactly where the attackers are, how they're gonna push, and you're trying to like this guy's trying to make it not obvious, right? Like, he's still trying to hide it. But defense is kind of like you're just waiting for them. And they may be on the other side of a wall and you might not realize that. Like there where he just shot the hard wall instead of actually shooting at Blitz.
Oh, I actually learned that that guy's on the other side of the wall. No way. Bro, he lost that. He has walls, he has the flank on a blitz, who is negative by the way, the blitz was 3 and 6. And he still has walls, he got blinded, and he, instead of shooting him while he has walls and can see the outlines, he fucking runs away and dies. Kudos to cursed account 33725, going shield and actually killing the cheater. I'm gonna watch this because I do I do hope that blue team ends up winning, but it's possible that they do throw this. There's no way they throw this. Uh, I say it's not possible. He just ran through three of Rooney Gates and got knocked down, and now two of them have one HP where Fenrir is still on the run. Please stop. Just back up. They don't. They don't give the ace to him. They don't give the ace to him. They won. They had the match won. And instead of planting and holding, they just kept rushing him. And he went from 1 and 7 to 6 and 7 because they threw so hard. If that were me, and if, uh, if that was a stack that I was with a bit, guys, we are never playing ranked again because we do not know how to play ranked. <laughs> Uh, that was so depressing to watch. God damn. Okay, well, two matches done. All right, in this match we have Snookums, who is accusing a, a cat, a Katsuki. Why is there what? Why was the Amaru yellow? I've never seen that before. Well, we know they're cheating. That was probably the fastest one we've seen so far. He was just staring at the Oryx through the wall, ready to shoot, and I was like, oh. It's a hard wall. I guess I wouldn't be more blatant than the coastline one, but... It's pretty blatant. He lost that. He was ready for it, and he lost it. Well, okay. Akatsuki dot... Is that supposed to be Jason? Definitely cheating. Uh, profile photo is a little questionable, but it's small, so it's okay. They have a 2.64 KD in ranked. They were previously bronze with negative KDs. I wonder why they started cheating, chat. They are terrible. Let's see if they ended up winning the match. I assume they did. They lost? Hold on. We need to see how they lost. Show us what you're made of, cheater. You see all five of them. You're just staring at them. Thinks that's a door. Bro, you have walls! Oh my god. And he just stood next to the ash. He is standing right next to her. You can hear her. You can see her. You can... Cheaters are just so fucking bad at Siege. These are the cheaters I get on my team. I don't even get the good cheaters who will just win us the match. They fucking lose it. Because they're so bad. Okay, next one is Oregon. I... Don't know if this will be obvious as well, but I assume probably. We have Inno Hatsus, who is accusing Long Longstrin. 
and council flat keys. I'm a little concerned because if I'm not mistaken, last week when we looked at the five sack of cheaters, they had V7 in their name. So the Brava could also be a cheater. Thanks for some Stiv McLive and special Sharpie. A hack on his replay till he came. Okay. Okay. What do they have for us today? They're each looking at the two different spawns with people at them. He's adjusting his aim. Okay, guys. His game sense is unparalleled. I'm honestly quite jealous of his ability to determine where people are. Now let's see Doc. Uneventful. Going back to Warden. Going back to Doc. Going back to Warden. He ran away. He's bored. I want to make sure this guy's not cheating as well. I can just look at his stats after. Doc might be cheating. Can we get a single cheater that can actually win a gunfight? Because this is getting depressing. He seems like he has walls as well, but I don't think he's as good as the Warden. The Warden seems like he's at least like an okay-ish player who also has walls. By the way, he landed one bullet there and took 75 damage or so. Almost 100 damage. So I might take back what I said about him being good. You are clear to go up. You cannot be shot from the door. Unless he got a kill. Just waiting for him to flash him again. He's just going to not know that he has a gadget. Like Blitz is about to come in and flash him. only he hadn't wasted a C4, he would be able to stop the planter, which by the way is right above him and he doesn't notice it. Bro, they're so bad. Skip forward a little bit. I know we've talked about this, like, cheaters are bad, that's why they cheat, but like, come on. They just straight up have walls and they can't get a kill. I'm just a game where a player had a 96% win rate with 960 plus games played, but I don't know how to get the clips. Uh, well, I don't take clips. I actually did have someone try to submit individual clips as well, like video files. I don't watch video files. You have to send in the match replay file, which if the match was within your last 12, you can still get from your computer. Uh, if it's past 12, then you cannot get them. Okay, we're going to watch Tachanka because I think he's also cheating, but we haven't gotten proof yet. Just looking at him. He's definitely cheating, or at least with the warden. It's possible that the warden's the one cheating and telling him where everyone is, but based off his movement and how he's looking, I, I think he's cheating too. Probably gonna pre fire this guy, yeah. Alright, so they're both cheating. Confirmed. Okay. Let's look up their stats. Okay, first person, Flongstrin, that Tachanka there, has a 1.77 KD. Shockingly not that high, but only 20 matches played. They're probably trying to keep themselves, you know, slightly under the radar. And then the other guy was Council Flat Keys. Uh, Emerald, 
previously champ in dread factor with a 1.09 kd so he's a lot better at hiding it but i also think he's just a lot worse he had 772 matches one match on average i think is 25 minutes or 20 no 25 minutes all right 25 minutes times 772 matches is 19,300 minutes which is 321 hours which is 13 days so out of 90 days in a season he spent 13 days playing siege we'll go back to the three we'll just put 322 number uh how many hours are there in a, a season he spent 15 percent of a season playing siege and cheating one third of that is sleeping if you sleep eight hours a night which then we'll, we'll remove that one third. That's 15% of 66. That actually goes up to like, he spent 23% of his time, awake time, cheating. That's fucked. So a normal job is nine to five, right? So eight hours, well, that's 33%. He spent almost the amount of time he should have been working, playing siege and cheating. Imagine if they actually spent that time working, how much money they could have made. All right, we're moving on to the standard match on Cafe. Will this be another obvious cheater? Probably, because it's end of season. Everyone that's getting accused is an obvious cheater. I tried not to include too many obvious ones, but clearly a lot of them are. Uh, in this match, we have Ice Bear, who's accusing Skybree. And they said, I don't know if they're just a champ or if they're a cheater. Let's find out. It's a seven round match. I gotta remember to equip my shotgun on Legion. But I do not have it on there for some reason. I have a pistol. Unless I was test server. Okay, he's spawn peeking, but not looking where they are exactly. He's actually checking around. This is a good sign so far. We might have our first legitimate match. Especially with aim like that. But then again, the cheaters we saw had bad aim too, so. I legit thought that was just his teammate team killing him. It is standard, so obviously you can get any mix of people, but that Tachanka barricading off both freezer doors and then trying to hide in there gives me the feeling that he, if he is legit, is going to be a much better player than the rest of the lobby. Which happens sometimes. Usually it's like one champ on either side, and then the rest of the lobby is like level 5 people. I've had that happen a lot this season. Looks like reaction, so that's fine. Thanks for some breezy dreams. curious how he knows that they're below him. I don't know if he would just hear them. Because he was like waiting there to impact the hatch because like he knew they were below him. Okay, he gets an ace round one. Those last two, I, I'm a bit more suspicious on, but keep in mind that I believe if you're on planks, you would be able to hear a Monty walking around bottom of white. Because stairs are just like a pit of sound, so he'd be able to hear that, and that's probably why he was suspicious of down there. And would get prepared with an impact so that he could drop below. The rest didn't seem too suspicious, but... What did he do here? Did he actually see the drone? He 
It could have been sheer coincidence. I know some people who wall have wall hacks for drones. But he did shoot exactly where the drone went and tried to shoot it through the wall. Could have been sheer coincidence. It's just a drone. Did he just like... No, oh, I'm getting a little concerned that he actually does have walls because he keeps like trying to hunt the drones through the wall and stuff. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, guys. He, he lined them up through the wall at spawn. I'm surprised he didn't run out to kill the guy on the balcony who was flanking him. I have a feeling he's he's walling now. The first like few kills I was fine with, but now it just seems like he's well hunting them. We'll see. We'll watch more. I don't think we'll be able to find their actual name, but we can try. Um, actually, no, someone, the person gave me their actual name, so we're good. Here, I'm a little suspicious because when they swing, they pre-fire. Uh, I mean, like, I don't know. That's at 0 0.5 times speed, and it looked like he flicked immediately. I feel like that reaction time was a little too quick. He did pre-fire there, but I mean, he's outside, he knows where they are, he kind of has to pre-fire. Oh, no. Okay, I'm gonna restart the round, because it's hard to tell whether he's actually following them through the wall, or it just... It happens to line up. We'll see. One thing that they could easily do for match replay to make it way more consistent is completely remove all debris. When you break something, just have it all disappear. I know it's it'd be tough for them to do that, but... It'd be so much nicer because then you don't have to worry about debris being the way when you fast forward. Okay, that's fine. You see toes. It looks like here, it almost looked like he followed the Dokubi. Ah, he did. But was it coincidence or following? I, uh, he is... I don't think this is legit. He is constantly peeking exactly where they're about to peek. That one was for toes, but... I don't... I don't know. All three of those people, he peeked as soon as they were about to peek. And, like, he's not afraid of dying here, which is a very vulnerable position, because he just knows that he can win those fights since he seems to know where they are. I think he's cheating. It doesn't feel legit. As Evan and Priest would say, it doesn't feel right. Because like every single one of those people outside, he like just pre-aimed and then just knew where they were. He didn't worry about any of the other peaks, he only worried about the peak where they were actually peeking from. Hold on. Let me... Let me see if there's any reason at all that he would know that Buck is prone holding an angle there. Like, he would know that Buck's in kitchen, that is fine. That's to be expected. But to just know that he's prone on the right? I don't think so. I mean, he did shoot through the wall, but that's still not, like, enough to be like, yeah, for sure he's prone. Oh, yeah, he saw his toes there. Uh, 
I think he's cheating, but there's unfortunately justifiable proof that you could be like, yeah, he knows that he's prone. And you'd also be able to hear them slithering. I don't, this doesn't feel legit to me. He's the only one with kills on his team. He has 10 kills, two aces on defense. Let's see what he does on attack. Attack is usually where we can catch people slipping a lot more because they just know where to push, like what, what is safe, uh, what they can do. Whereas defense is more, no, normally they just wait and then they pre-fire. So he knows that all the cap can traps are on the bottom floor and he's clearing them all out. But he's not worried about anyone being on the bottom floor. He hasn't, like he didn't drone a single thing other than putting a drone there and then just sprinting right on up. Oh. Seems a little too confident. Oh god, that aim. Mm. I mean, that could be coincidence, but it looked like he was slowly just following the Azami. I, I don't know. Like, there's so many that you can be like, well, you know, technically there's this or that or that. And there's so many excuses, but it, like he's he's got to be walling at this point. There's no way he's not. His aim is just so bad as well. Like there's no way this is a guy who can just pop off with 11 kills like nothing. And like so, we got the one spawn peak we got on round one, like just kind of staring at them through the floor. And then we got that, like, what are the odds that three times in four rounds, he does stuff that's super suspicious? One person on his team is on drones. And unfortunately there is two drones right next to Fra or Valkyrie. But Yana's down to her last magazine. And the movement name, I don't I don't think this person's legit in any way. What? How did they do damage there? They didn't even hit them. Right? Am I crazy? No, he definitely he has soft aim. He just shot in a zombie barrier, which, if I'm not mistaken, is still there. And hurt her. Off to go back. And... Like, I'm going to start the round over and watch that to see if the zombie barrier breaks. But if it doesn't, then that's confirmation that he has soft walls. Because you can't shoot through that no matter what. Alright. They put it down. I'm pretty sure no one ever breaks it. Oh, okay. Yep. Jonko crawls in, doesn't destroy it. Yeah, didn't get destroyed. And just to prove, it wasn't like halfway aiming down sight, they were fully aimed down sight. Also, the Yana clone at like 9 seconds left just kind of bruised it even more. See, they shot right there. They're still shooting at the Azami barrier and somehow they hit Valkyrie. Even like, there's no lag, there's no aiming down sight transition, like he hurt her with the Azami barrier blocking the shot. Assuming, obviously, assuming that match replay is correct on how this looks, that is impossible. 
and I just assume he has soft aim based off of the rest of the whole match as well. We do have the name of the cheater. They submitted it with this. Oh, and they've already been banned. So, yeah. There's our confirmation that they were cheating. Uh, they had a 1.43 KD in ranked, and they were banned yesterday or two days ago. Never played before champ. So, definitely, definitely a cheater. I will admit, they were decent at hiding it. Like, there were a decent amount of points where I was like, eh, like, you could play it off sound or something. Um, but I think that spawn peak is what really gave it away for me. Three people, and he peaked them one by one, knowing exactly who was going to peak and when, and never felt the need to relocate. Because, like, when you peak a window like that, and you get a kill, you don't just keep peeking it over and over and over and over again because you're going to die. They're going to be ready for it. But he was just so confident that he could do it nonstop. All right. Last match. Uh, so far, we've had all cheaters today. Not a single person has not been cheating. And in this match, we have two people, so probably both cheating. Uh, we have Rain Tum, who's accusing Shaq and Kobe. Matching names, so they're obviously cute together. This is also a seven round standard match. That vigil face reveal is a little, a little bit of a bad skin. I thought it was Shaq that got a kill, not Kobe. Pretty bad aim, but he got the kill. Bro. He landed three bullets out of 50. Or four. That is an accuracy rate of less than 10%. He landed one bullet out of 30. I don't know if the Kobe guy is cheating. He seems genuinely just awful at the game. But so do they, so like, I don't know. I miss so much. What, I just want to know, what was Osa doing? Like she was just staring and didn't even shoot back. Oh, she did shoot back. She just whiffed everything. I think we might have stumbled upon what seems like a genuinely like copper lobby. So far I'm not too convinced that they're cheating. I am sold he is cheating. The Kobe guy, 100%. He has an emerald card background. There is zero chance this guy is an emerald player. He cannot land over 90% of his shots. Like, the only way you could get emerald is by cheating. I guess we'll see. Maybe Shaq is cheating? They could have boosted, or Shaq could have boosted Kobe. But we'll, we'll watch a bit more and see. The way we can determine boosting as well is when we look at stats, if we can see, actually we have their real names, is if they just have super low KDs while being an Emerald. If they're like an Emerald player with a 0.01 KD, it's like, okay, you obviously just get paid for a boost. But if he somehow has like a 1 KD or something, that's like, no, you, you gotta be cheating. I think he just got shot by the Vigil. God, look at those walls. He's just tracking them. Oh, what a waste of Solus's gadget. I hate that. Bro, 
Oh, didn't land a single bullet. Not a single one. Okay, Shaq killed someone. Let's go back and watch that. Looked like a reaction. That seemed fine. Just died to the person behind him. Didn't even notice they were there. There was a little bit, the tiniest amount of tracking there, but it was also, you know, looked like panic spray, so I don't know if they were actually following them. Shaq seems like the one to watch. The Kobe guy seems terrible. Chad, if you guys ever feel bad about how you perform in a game, just remember that people like this exist, where they can shoot over 100 bullets and maybe hit two of them. Next Shiko, true. Gotta hit that four macro. Okay, you know. Eh, it lined up, but coincidental, and then lined up, but coincidental. Like, he lined them up twice, but then walked away and seemed surprised when they were breaking the door. Hit a single bullet. I'm waiting for him to get fused from above and not know how to react. I don't know if you guys just noticed what I noticed there, but... So, Ella runs in here, for whatever reason. Maybe heard them or got a call. Blackbeard dropped the hatch, scares Jackal. Jackal pre-fires him. Blackbeard shoots back at him. He's getting shot by both Ella and Blackbeard at the same time. And then, Ella kills Blackbeard. What a masterclass of Siege. Stop pulling the gun weirdly. There we go. I, I don't think they're cheating so far. It seems they had like two coincidences, but they weren't even that severe. And overall, like, just don't seem that good. The lobby seems terrible. Like, so far, every single person has just been god-awful in this match. Anything gonna happen? So I'm just gonna send the corner... I guess wait for him to drop. He did the no 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 CC wave high. She's a little bit of a crackhead right now. She usually follows Annie upstairs when uh, Annie brings me my lunch. And then she likes to tear my office apart because she is a menace to society. Ah! Man, if Ice just stood there and droned, I would have been pre fired from three different people.
Oh, so they lose three rounds in a row here. So I'm not expecting a whole lot from them. It's already in a 5v2. He almost lost that, and he has live info on them because they were running outside. He lost that. But survived. Oh, the Cavs are going to go out for an interrogation. Ain't no way. Jack, save your boy. on six was. I might skip to the last round because I feel like we're just wasting our time watching them get shit on since they do end up losing three rounds in a row. He did that before, where he, like, I know it's not much, but, like, he did line someone up and then look away, like that, but I mean, he could have been looking at the hallway, could have been looking at the door. Shut up, Cece. It's possible he is cheating, and they're just really bad. He looked lost there. I'm gonna just go to the last round. Okay, Shaq is nine and two, Kobe is eight and four. They are not droning at all. Zero drone. Kobe did drone, sees someone spawn peeking on the hunt. Shaq is still AFK. So Shaq got removed, Kobe team killed Ash, and now we're in a 5v3. This, this really makes the lobby feel like the rank I think it is. Shaq's back. Severe lag. Super severe lag. He died. I learned nothing there. Um, okay, Orange Team ends up losing. CC, stop breaking stuff. They lost four rounds in a row. One sec. Okay. Uh, we have the actual names of these people. It was submitted with the file. The first one, who is Shaq, was basement.flood. Uh, silver with a 2.25 KD in standard, 1.82 KD in quick play, and a 1.4 KD in ranked. Uh, doesn't really have much of a history. Doesn't have any history. Level 68. I, they, they look like a, a 68. And then this is the other person, Mind of Tay. Negative KDs across the entire board. This was the Kobe guy. Uh, negative KD in ranked with 104 matches played. Level 160. 
Um, honestly, I think they were just bad. But I think the whole lobby was bad. So I think that match was fine. I want to edit this in here because I kind of mentioned it and I just never talked about it again for the rest of the match. The player with the Emerald card background likely had that from console and just poured it over to PC, which is why his skill does not at all match that of an Emerald player. Yeah, Chad seems to agree. I don't think they were cheating. So, we did get one match without cheaters. Everyone else in all the other games was cheating, though. Absolutely. What a, what a fucking day um for hacker replay what a good end to the season for hacker replay there will be no hacker replay next season or not next season next week sorry because it's the beginning of the season so i have to put out new season content on day one i will not be putting out a hacker replay next wednesday now once a whole week of the new season has passed then i will upload hacker replay again uh that way we can get some matches and hopefully we get enough Chat, if you guys, or even in the YouTube comments, if you guys face someone you find suspicious in the first week of the season, please put in the drop box. Because a lot of people don't report in the first week. But if you find any suspicious things, please report it. Because I need matches for the first week of the season. If we don't get enough matches, then I can't do Hacker Replay. Okay?